Uh, so, and I'm going to start by returning the favor. Uh, Steve and I joined the port about a month apart. Um, it was one of the first decisions that I got to make as a commissioner-elect, actually, was to sit down with Steve and, and interview him as he was a finalist for the role of executive director. And I think it's the best decision I've made as a commissioner to, to bring this man on. So let's give Executive Director Murphy a hand. Which dovetails perfectly with the one message I'm going to try to get across here uh, this morning in, in the couple of minutes that I have. As I was reflecting on what I wanted to share about the state of the port in my two minutes, uh, I kept going back to this children's song that I sang as a kid in Sunday school. And so some of you may know it who came out of a similar tradition. Uh, but the, the chorus is pretty simple. It, it says, the church is not a building. The church is not a steeple. The church is not a resting place. The church is a people. And for me, that notion applies to our port as well. As we consider the state of the port, I want us to understand that the port is not a marina, the port is not a concourse, the port is not a warehouse, the port is its people. And today I can say to you, I don't think we've ever had a stronger set of people at the port than today. Maybe you saw the coverage this, just this last week of some of the remarkable people who make up the Port of Seattle. The Seattle Times covered George Blomberg and his 40 years of work recovering the Duwamish River after years and years of industrial misuse. Uh, the KUOW did a story on police officer Michelle Bruegel, who has pioneered a path-breaking program at, at SEA called SEA Cares where she works with those folks who come to the airport who are experiencing homelessness, and she works to find them services. Uh, that was picked up by national press because of how pathbreaking it is. And of course, I'm sure many of you saw the articles covering the historic election of Commissioners Cho and Hasegawa to be our officers this year at the commission. Truly, these are just a few of the hundreds and thousands of stories of remarkable work by the people who make up the Port of Seattle. And I am truly grateful to get to be one of those thousands of people who make up this institution. But it's not just our badged employees who are the people who make up the port. Uh, we are just a small part of the ecosystem that is the port. In fact, at virtually all of our facilities, except maybe headquarters, the vast majority of, of port people aren't badged employees. Instead, they're the baggage handlers who work for the airlines or the dray truck drivers who are taking the containers to and from the port, or the tenants and small business owners at Fisherman's Terminal and elsewhere in our ecosystem. And today I get to introduce a video about just a, one little slice of that port ecosystem of people. It's the small business owners who have made SEA a place to grow their business and to make the airport more vibrant and welcoming for our passengers. And so as I cue that up, I know that I'm walking away today, this morning, uh, with a sentiment that I didn't expect to get today, which is, and I'm going to use my last moment to say this, I'm excited to know that we will see you again. And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to the video. <laughs> 